Knees Knives. I'm Jared with my lovely wife, Kara. Hello. And today we got something special again. We are super lucky and super grateful. We can't even explain how mm -hmm. awesome all this is. So we did a deal with Bama, shout the Bama Knife Guy. I know you guys hear me say that a lot, either at the beginning, middle, or end of a video. And Bama Knife Guy is a really good friend of ours. We are super thankful to call him a friend and we did a swap with him between a couple of our knives and a couple of his knives we have a couple of his knives here that we've been wanting to check out that he owns that we've been gawking over for however long they've been out and mm -hmm. we finally got them in hand finally these got them. are really three knives that aren't just ones we borrowed because they're nice knives these are three knives that we have wanted and considered buying for the long time. Yeah, yeah. do basically just the first impressions. We have had them since uh, uh, yesterday. Since we've, like we've last had them, night. Yeah, we've had them since like <laughs> yesterday. But yeah, we didn't get to do the unboxing or anything like that. But we we haven't really done anything with them. So this is basically uh, still a first impression. We did get to do the unboxing. We just did it immediately without you guys watching. <laughs> just to be clear. So let's check them out, guys. Let's do it. All right, guys. So, Bama Knife Guy, he's got a YouTube channel and an Instagram channel. And like I was saying about him, he is super funny, super down to earth, super humble, great guy all the way around. Uh, one of the best guys in the community. And like I said, we love him to death. It's such a great guy. You guys got to go check him out. Awesome cat. So, this is Yo Jimbo. When uh, I first saw it, from when we first saw it, I was in love right away because it's got that utilitarian blade shape that I just love so much. But doing I sharpen my knives and I love to use my knives and I love to sharpen my knives. So, you know, if I don't have to use my utility blade, unless if I actually have to, you know, obviously I will. But a lot of times I just use my pocket knife. No big deal, you know. And I usually keep them really sharp, especially my work knife, you know, I just take it home and strop it up. But uh, speaking of edges, really quick, I got to say this. So Bama knife. So when I sent the knives to Bama, right, I only had like a day to send them. So I was sending them within a few hours and he hadn't picked out the knives he wanted to check out. Right. So I didn't have no time. And I sent him a message stating, you know, I hadn't got his knives yet, so he had not sent me his or nothing like that. Uh, he got mine first. Well, I sent him a message stating, like, I feel very inadequate sending these to you, you know, because of the edges that, you know, I didn't get a chance to, to sharpen them. You know, I basically had a chance to strop them really quick and send them. And I hadn't sharpened those knives since before we went on the trip. To Colorado. And if you guys follow <laughs> us, you guys know we just recently went on a trip. I don't know when you guys are watching this, but if you guys follow us, you know we just went on a trip. So um, I sent him that message stating that, and he's like, no, no, it's all good. You know, you know, I love to sharpen. And I said, yeah, I know you love to sharpen, but the whole point was, was I didn't want to, you know, send you a knife that, you know, was like that. So then he, which he didn't tell me this, but so then he proceeds to sit up all night sharpening damn knives till he can get the most screaming sharpest edge on these bad boys before he sends them. Gets an extra day on me before he sends them. <laughs> so these knives are extremely sharp and he can definitely do a good edge. Definitely good edges on these things and he definitely does good grinds and everything else. Anyways, to the knife. This is not the review. This is just, like I said before, this is just basically a first impressions. And I do love this uh, blade shape. Like I said, it works out very good. I know it was originally made for fighting style or fighting design. And this is the two. And I know uh, a lot of people don't like to talk about knives for self-defense and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, sometimes it needs to be talked about. I think and YouTube doesn't want people. YouTube doesn't want you talking about it, I don't think. You get demonetized. And I'm just gonna say really quick, this is just a this is a tool. This is not a weapon, but everybody knows that if you carry a knife, it can. In a sticky situation can be used for backup. Yeah, and just like where, a screwdriver could be. Right, exactly. <laughs> your fist could be. But your um, keychain. Anything, your your hands. But you know, being where we live from, 
there you know this there is a not say strong but you know there's a possibility that you might have to use your knife as a self-defense weapon or might get attacked by you a knife you never say, know uh, you could probably say strong yeah pretty strong pretty pretty, <laughs> pretty strong, strong chance that you could and um i grew up in very bad areas and i've definitely had a, f a few different times where stuff's happened with knives but, this is definitely a knife that would do very good in a self-defense situation. That's what it was made for, but also it's a very good EDC knife, and it feels really good in the hand. And this it's is not the review, awesome. so I'm not going to keep going on this. But, yeah, this is an awesome knife, and I can't wait to review it. Next one. Baby, uh, it's, me. it's me, that's me, because it's my favorite. Look at this thing. It's like a little... It's like a little you. Yeah. This is what I look like, if you've never seen me before, just like this. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, uh, yeah, this is the Techno 2. Because it's like Techno. Actually, I don't know why they call it that. If anybody knows, let me know. Let me know. You know, I like to know these things. Um, love the finish on the blade. It's like a dull shininess, which is awesome because it's way stone less finger. Wash, po polished stone wash. Dull shininess. Dull shininess. Thank you. Um, I, it actually is like one of the only Spyderco knives where the hole doesn't feel like it's slicing into my fingernail. It's kind of like smooth, which is cool. Although having that grippy hole also kind of helps you it open does. it. So, you know, it's, but this to me is that happy medium. It really is. Uh, which is, I really like. You can see what type of titanium finish this is here because it's not natural titanium. It's anode darker. You can see. Is it? I thought it was natural. Uh, natural it, titanium isn't this dark. That's why there's scratches through it. I thought it was just plain, just like those beads you did. It's just well, plain. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, anybody, but I think that, that they... Ano because when you go through the col color spectrum anodizing, yeah. you hit a dark gray not long after it blue. It might be. It might be. Right I don't after know. blue, I thought... you hit gray again, but it's darker than the natural gray, which is what this looks like. I honestly thought it was just plain titanium. Mm. Let us know. I, I think it's just plain titanium, but it, he uses his knife, so you can definitely see all the scratches yeah. in it. And regular the titanium it. scratches, but not this intensely. Uh, yeah, it does. It definitely does. We have regular plain titanium, and it definitely has scratches like that. Well, just like that. Anyways, I love the scratches on. Well, plain hold on. Titanium. Let me say one more thing. You see the color that the scratches are scratching to? That lighter color. I think that's the natural Snail color. Trails. Snail trails. Yeah, that's I think that's the natural color. But no, they call they, that's what they call them on. All right, somebody's got to settle plain this titanium. for us. Anyway, um, awesome, awesome knife. It's about the size of a Kaiser Sheepdog, which, if you guys know me at all, that's like one of my favorite knives. I cannot middle finger flick it well with my right handed knife. You can see they carve out the little. Um, Perfect for a left-handed person. Yeah, good for thumb in the right hand, but for me, it's awesome because I have perfect amount of room to finger flip. Or middle finger flick with my left hand. Love the wire clip. Love the frame lock. I love this knife. Yeah, I like how smooth it is. And I can middle finger flick it, but it's not, uh, it's a lot easier just to thumb it. I also, oh, show them the um, standoffs too, please. They're really cool. That green little pop of green. That is awesome. Like, I love, you'll see on the next knife too, same deal. All gray with a little pop of color. It's really nice, really subtle. I. Um, it's a, a sucker, a sucker, sucker for these little punch outs right here. When you can, it almost feels like a button because they do the cutout where you can get right to the um, the lock bar so easily. I am just a sucker for that. Yeah, I, love I love that. that. The ergos on this, it's a three finger for me, but it's a good knife. I like this knife. I could definitely see using this as a secondary or even a primary. Is they the chef. This thing is, I mean, I've been watching this thing ever since it came out and seeing everybody talk about it. I Everybody's like been like, reviewing it and yeah. IG, you know, putting it on their Instagram. And now, finally got it in hand. And this thing is awesome. It's smaller than I thought, though. It is thinner and smaller than I thought. It's smaller than you thought, too. It, w it was a little bigger than I thought. Like, really? uh, lengthwise. Really? Yes, sir. I thought it was I'm a little... I'm not good I... at judging proportions through yeah, screens. Yeah, but, you know, I did see the measurements, so I already knew the measurements. Oh, but see, just I didn't. small, like, as in thin, and... and I, it's I, sleek. I, it's more gentlemanly than you'd expect. Yeah, and I remember hearing, though, that it was thinner, and a, lot, a few people said that, actually, that it was thinner than they thought, and that it was nice, and you can see how thin it was. And I watched... 
other, you know, people match it up against other knives and show off thin, and it's just like it's thinner than this knife. Mm -hmm. But now getting it in hand, you realize actually how thin it is. It's really nice, super smooth. These knives, these two knives, unless you don't have the titanium lock bar or, you know, titanium insert or yeah, stainless steel insert on the titanium. So it's just titanium on steel, which is really cool. I don't mind that. I like that. This is vi done very well. I do. I love the blue accents. Um, I love how thin the, well, I think he's uh, messed with this blade a little bit. We'll talk about that during the review. Super sticky edge, very nice, very ergonomic, you know, in a way, I guess. For, like I said, it'd be perfect for EDCing, and I love how quiet it is. Listen to that. It's not quiet the same as. You can't even hear it's nothing it. nothing to listen to. No. It's so quiet. Um, I like that clip, too. I love wire clips. Wire clips just work really good. Everybody loves wire. Who doesn't like wire clips? Yeah, that's what another reason why I like the other one. So I'm guessing this is the designer logo right here. Do you know that logo? Uh, I don't know who the designer is. Well, I forget. It looks so Sinkovichy. Somebody tell me if it is, please, because I'm really curious, and I'm just too lazy to look it up. Um, and yeah, I would rather well, you, you know, guys the, tell me. But this ain't the review. Yeah. Once we do the review, we'll know we all have, this We just got these, so and somebody tell me. even though we've looked them up to buy them, that doesn't mean... No. You know, and I've seen a million reviews and all that. There, there's so many knives out there, so many knives that I've you know put wow. into my brain, and... There's those little bits of information that you save for when you're actually putting that money down. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, guys, thanks for watching this. We love you guys. And all that little bit of stuff you've seen, we'll save for the review, and you guys will see it. It will be coming soon. So, because we want to get these back to Bama. We Why know he's already one? messing them. So, yes. there you go. Bang. Yes. See you guys later. <laughs>